Hey guys, Trev from Norwood Sawmills. I want to talk to you about cutting parallel to the growth ring of the tree and how to know when the right time to turn after that first and second cut is. So what you want to do, if you can picture the tree as a cylinder when it's growing, uh, when you lay it on its side, I know it's not a cylinder, but if it had a bunch of taper in it, you got to jack that up so that it's level, so that you're cutting in the same exact line that that tree grew in in the middle. Okay, so there's, there's a couple of reasons for doing this. One of them is you want to make sure that you're not cross-cutting the grain because if you do that, you're going to end up with a bunch of warped and twisted lumber. Initially, it won't look any different, uh, but you're going to come back to it in four or five months and it's going to be all bent and, and warped and cupped and you're going to wonder why. It's because you didn't account for the taper in the log. Uh, the other point of doing this is, is if you're into fine furniture or if you're going to start building some cabinetry, in order to get the best looking grains out of your wood, it's important that you cut parallel to the growth rings. Um, so if you want to take a look uh, at the log on the mill with me, I'll show you uh, a couple of different ways that you can identify that. If we look at the end of this log, you can see this right inside this box that I'm making right here. This is the, what they call the heart of the tree or the pith. This is the line that you want to stay centered to. So this is pretty much a perfect cylinder, this log, but if it had a lot of taper in it, be it at this end or the other, whichever it was, you would need to jack it up so that it was parallel, even on the top, really is the easiest way to look at it. So if you step back from the machine and you kneel down and you look, it should be nice and even on the top against your rail or your machine. That's how you'll know your blade is staying in line with your tree. Okay, so those first two cuts, it's very important that you do that in order to manage and uh, get good quality lumber when you're cutting.